In this video, I wanna talk about how to create an easy off-camera flash setup so that you can create incredible images of detailed photos at your next wedding. These detail tips are especially great for situations where lighting may not be the best and you want to create either more dynamic light or more interesting light, just so you have really professional, high quality images of everything throughout the day, even indoors. So if you wanna create images like this, or like this, or like this, keep following along for this setup. So the flash that I have on my camera, I keep it at a pretty low um, power. So I have it set at 1 to 50th of a second, and then I need to go grab a second flash, which is the only other flash I'll be using for this setup and I set it to group B on my main flash there so they are synced, so I can control that second flash on my flash that's on my camera. So I decided to first take an image of this simple setup that I have going on in my office where I set up a plant on a table, <laughs> which is pretty similar to how a cake would look. It has that rounded surface, and so you can really kind of see where the light is falling. So I took a photo of this setup without any flash, so you can see how it's pretty dark in this image. So if I was in a situation where I really wanted to cut out a lot of the color casts that are going on, in camera, my settings would be set so that it's only complete, it's almost completely black when I go to take an image without flash. So in this situation, I had it at 1 200th of a second, 2.2 aperture, 200 ISO. So I could not really use this image um, and edit it. So to bring in flash, I set my extra flash there at 1 32 of a second, just to see how that was looking. And I'm going to be bracketing to see which power looks the best. So you'll notice that I really, really love the direction of this light because the setup for really great dynamic light is when you are placed at a 90 degree angle to the light that's coming in. So I am here, my subject is here, and 90 degrees from that is my light source. So that creates really dynamic light that sweeps across that plant or in a wedding, it would be a cake or something like that. So I really enjoy having the light to dark going across the subject there. So I do try a couple of other settings. So I um, increase the power to 1 16th of a second, and I actually really like that a bit more. Um, and of course I have to play around with the settings. So I go to 1.8 just to see what that looks like. And it's just a little too powerful for me. So I keep it at 1 16th of a second there. Then I go and actually move my flash upward just to see if that direction of light sweeping from up to down instead of directly across. I just wanna see how that looks. So I'm always playing around with that on a wedding day too. So you'll see in this image that it's a teensy bit dif more diffused coming from that angle. Um, and here are some actual real life examples of what this would look like on a wedding day. So you'll see that this cake here, um, you'll see that the light goes from left to right here. So those shadows on the right really show the depth of the cake. Um, and that just looks a little bit more polished than like flash going directly at it or not having any flash at all. Um, and then also here is a uh, sweetheart table setup where the light is coming from left to right again. And you'll see all those shadows really give the image depth, especially because this in, in this image, there's so many florals that you really wanna get all that texture. Um, and then I kept going around that particular reception room, getting the centerpieces and really just making sure that my light source was 90 degrees from me so that the light would sweep across the subject. So you don't need three flashes for this. You just need one on your camera um, that I set at a pretty low setting that might fill it in a little bit, but really that's not the light source I'm concentrating on. I'm concentrating on that light that is on the stand with a an umbrella sweeping across the subject. So when I'm in a wedding space, or wedding, wedding reception space, I bring that flash stand around with me the whole time or I have an assistant help me kind of just bring that flash stand wherever I'm going and that way I have complete control over what's going on. 
which is very helpful to know that you have control. So then I was moving my feet, which is a great rule of thumb, and I was just seeing how the light looked when I moved instead of the light source moving. Um, and you'll notice that the shadows fall a little bit differently when you move your feet. So once I had those settings set and I knew that 1 16th of a second was good to go, I was getting just a little bit more interesting composition and I knew that the light was great. So I knew that I could make things a little bit more interesting there compositionally. I really hope this lighting setup is just a great thing to have in your tool belt to use at your next wedding. If you are having trouble finding clients, I do have a freebie for you down below that is 10 ways that you can market your business without even using social media. So I hope you grab that. Um, feel free to leave a comment below if you want to see any other flash setups. I would be happy to help. See you in the next video.